By the early 1960s, scientists had not only dismissed the fanciful notion that Mars was crisscrossed by Lowell's waterways, they had also nearly given up on the notion that water had existed on Mars at all. The surface environment prohibited liquid water from existing, causing it to freeze or evaporate into the atmosphere. In 1972, this view changed again. Mariner 9 pictures showed landforms on Mars that resembled dry river valleys and channels. It appeared that scientists had given up on water on Mars too soon. Harold Mazursky of the U.S. Geological Survey, science leader for the Viticon Imaging Experiment in 1973, stated, The possible fluviatile channels may record episodes when water was much more abundant in the atmosphere than it is at present. Planet-wide warmer interglacial periods would release not only water locked up in polar caps, but also that frozen in the subsurface as permafrost. Similar warmer and colder periods also are characteristic of terrestrial history. For classification purposes, scientists have grouped these landforms into three major types valleys, outflow channels, and fretted channels. Water seems to have had a role in producing all of these features. Some appear to have been carved by huge catastrophic floods that originated from massive subsurface aquifers, others by sustained but perhaps modest flows supplied by other springs or periodic rainfall. These features range in relative ages and required abundant liquid water for their development. This seems inconsistent with the evidence for cold climate conditions similar to the current climate. So it is not surprising that major controversy erupted about the origins of these landforms. Have a great day.